And Denver police plan to continue targeting hotels they say are magnets for crime. As we first showed you last night on 7 News at 10, police raided a day's in on federal yesterday, arresting 12 people. Well, 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon is live with this ongoing news alert. Lindsay, you spoke with the officer in charge of this raid, and he says that place has been a problem for years. And Commander Pazin says that this hotel has a history of public nuisance complaints dating back 17 years. He says they have tried to work with the owner of this hotel, but he's failed to comply. And now police are investigating other hotels in the area. Exposed pipes, electrical wires scattered, unsanitary conditions. Denver police shot this video of the days in on federal after raiding and closing the hotel. One room in particular, the toilet itself wasn't working, so the individual was urinating in the bathtub. But the horrendous conditions aren't why police are involved. We took our questions to Commander Paul Pazin, the man in charge of the raid. He says the hotel is a magnet for crime. His officers respond to calls at the hotel nearly once a day. And these are typically typically around weapons, drugs, prostitution. Police arrested 12 people during yesterday's raid, five for felony warrants. We checked Yelp, where former customers rate the hotel a one star. One person writes, do not stay here. It's not safe. Could this have happened sooner? Um, we're, we're very happy with, with yesterday's results, and it would be difficult to, to go backwards and, and, and try to find out the reasons why we hadn't done it in the past. Police say they tried to work with the owner, Bruce Romani. Seven News checked. Romani owns at least four other hotels in the metro area, including a Ramada. Last January, a customer sued him, citing a bed bug attack. According to the lawsuit, when asked for compensation, the owner responded, this is a cheap hotel. We cannot afford to pay guests for claimed bed bug attacks. Ultimately, the Department of Environmental Health handles all complaints regarding unhealthy conditions. They tell me they would not condemn a property like this unless it did not have heat, water, or electricity. Now, police are not saying what other hotels they are looking at the area, but they say they're looking at hotels with similar poor conditions that attract criminal activity. Live in Denver, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.